Tolkien doesn't provide a detailed description of Sauron's appearance, although his writings imply that the evil is made of flame and shadow. In The Rings of Power Season 2, Episode 5, Merdania depicts him exactly as such, implying that the program is constructing Sauron's persona based on Tolkien's writing. This is hardly shocking, since the Amazon series portrays his shape-shifting deceit as Anatar in a rather accurate manner. Furthermore, the fiery body of Sauron neatly connects the Amazon series, Tolkien's works, and the Lord of the Rings films. Although Sauron's depiction by Merdania illuminates Tolkien's character further, it also preserves the secrecy surrounding his actual shape. This makes sense because the author purposefully leaves many aspects of Sauron and the mayor in general up to the reader's imagination. Watchers may be able to see what Merdania sees in episode 5 thanks to the Rings of Power. Still, it might work better if we can only speculate about his genuine appearance. Intriguingly, Merdania's explanation of Sauron's actual form reminds me of how the villain was portrayed in the Lord of the Rings films. The primary representation of Sauron in Peter Jackson's adaptations is a blazing eye situated above the Tower of Barad-dûr in Mordor. This is the only physical depiction of Sauron in the movie, aside from the dark silhouette of the necromancer. In The Rings of Power, he takes on more material forms, however season 2 suggests that his actual shape is more akin to the Eye of Sauron from the trilogy. The Eye of Sauron not only makes sense considering the character's past but also symbolizes the villain's growing power and presence throughout Middle-earth. Given that the antagonist is one of Tolkien's mayor, he ought to have a less physical shape than the one he assumes when living in Middle-earth. What Merdania observes is consistent with Sauron being a Maya, and it also aligns with Tolkien's literary descriptions of the antagonist. When Merdania sees a glimpse of the Unseen Realm in Season 2, Episode 5, while trying to resize one of the Rings of Power, she is still horrified by what she sees, even after Celebrimbor takes the thing away from her. It becomes clear that the smith is referring to Sauron in his actual form when she relates what she saw. It is confirmed when she informs Celebrimbor that she believes, it's been here among us all along, since Sauron is actually at a region with the elves, he's only wearing an Anatar disguise. But it doesn't seem like Merdania has yet linked Anatar to her vision. One of the more thorough descriptions of Sauron that we have heard from Merdania, and it makes sense why it gives her the creeps. She acknowledges that at first she thought she was staring at the forge. But as it happens, she was seeing a tall creature whose skin was made of flames. She also draws attention to Sauron's pitiless eyes, highlighting the devil's lack of empathy for his victims. Despite Anatar's assurances to her and the other elves that they have nothing to fear, it is clear that they are not. In J.R.R. Tolkien's tale, Sauron assumes a variety of forms, but The Rings of Power Season 2 provides the most accurate depiction of the antagonist's actual form. Even though the first season of The Rings of Power centers on Sauron's impending ascent to power, the antagonist spends the most of the season dressing up as Halbrand, the fictitious ruler of the Southlands. Early on in the second outing, he keeps adopting this identity. But in Season 2, the shape-shifting powers of the Lord of the Rings adversary are emphasized further. For this reason, in The Rings of Power Season 2, Episode 1, a new actor plays him. Jack Loden depicts Sauron's appearance in the First Age of Middle-earth both during and immediately following Morgatha's rule. When Sauron visits Celebrimbor and persuades him to create more Rings of Power, he assumes yet another shape. In Tolkien's novels, Sauron assumes the fair appearance of Anatar, which he exploits to trick the elves. He acts in the same way in Season 2 of The Rings of Power, but in Episode 5, one of them gets to see him in his true form. Merdania gets a sight of Sauron's terror when she dons one of the Rings of Power, and her account of his actual form is among the best we've read.